Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today, my friends, I have something absolutely incredible for you guys. Today, I have a tutorial on how to hold both the Magmus Operandi and the Vitrolic Withering in your inventory at the exact same time. And if you did not know, those are the Pack-a-Punch versions of both the Magma Gat and the Acid Gat in the game. Or, if you prefer, you can actually get the Magmus Operandi and the Sweeper, which is the upgraded version of the Blender Gat. Whichever combination you would prefer, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get both of those in this tutorial. And without further do ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing that you need to do is actually fill up all three of the dog heads and get the hell's retriever in your game you're going to be needing this in order to do the free blunder got easter egg which is what the next step of doing this is however we are going to be avoiding one of the spots on purpose so do not pick up the skull at the warden's office just pick up the skulls that i'm showing you here the first of which is on the rooftop on a little box the second of which is at the docks on the third pillar from the left out in the water kind of across where you actually pick up the spoon the next one is over here at the west grounds just right up there on that balcony and the final one that we're going to be picking up for now again we're going to be leaving the last one alone is over here on c d street by the library in the toilet and you're going to pick that up now we're purposely once again avoiding the one over by the warden's office we're going to leave that one for the time being because next thing we need to do is actually get a blunder gat out of the box this has to be a box blunder gat once again we are saving the one in the warden's office for the trick the free one that you get guaranteed so we're saving that one for the trick you need to get it out of the box so once you have it out of the box you need to do some preparation Operation. Number one is you need to collect all of the acid gat kit parts if you are planning on turning this into the vitrolic withering and upgrading the acid gat and having that be your other weapon. Or if you don't really care about it, you'd rather have the sweeper. You don't need to collect the acid gat parts. You don't need to worry about it. But once again, just collect all three of the acid gat parts if you are going to use the vitrolic withering. Number two is that you need to build the shield and collect three souls into the shield because we're going to be waiting to activate pack a bunch until the final step. You have to have 10,000 points. So once again, just to run through everything, collect all the acid gat parts if you're getting the vitrolic weathering again if you're getting the sweeper you don't need to worry about that number two is you need to build a shield and get three different zombie souls so you have a shield blast ready so you can actually activate pack a bunch and then the final step is that you need to have 10,000 points once all of those things are done you are ready to go into the next step which is actually going to be activating pack a bunch so once you have done everything you need, make your way over to the rooftop and get down to one zombie left because it's going to be a lot easier if you just have one zombie left for the next few steps here. But you're just going to go ahead and blast open pack punch. Now, obviously, this is going to spawn a warden. Again, make sure you just lead the warden away from pack punch and make sure he doesn't lock it down because if he locks it down and that makes you go under 10,000 points here, it's going to be a huge problem because you will get some points in the next round, so it's not the end of the world. But it's just a lot easier if you don't even have to worry about it. Just make sure you kill the warden before he locks down pack punch anyway once the pack a punch is clear you have killed the warden go ahead and pack a punch your blunder gat and get the sweeper now with the sweeper you're going to head over to the bottom of the warden's house here and you're actually going to insert the sweeper into the fireplace here now we're basically going to be doing this next part as normal except we are not actually going to deposit the essence into the blunder gat you basically just want to fill up all three of the skulls and then we're going to be leaving for the next step so again just a refresher all you need to do is just it's really really easy if you just save up for your specialist weapon or whatever you should have this thing available and ready but just go ahead kill all the zombies walk over their souls make sure you walk over their souls to actually collect it once you hear that noise and all three of the skulls are filled up you do not want to pick it up do not pick up the blender gat do not deposit the essence instead run out here to the outside and then throw your tomahawk at the last skull that is up there on the on the top of the telephone pole and grab the free blender gat and go about your merry way you need to make sure you grab that free blender gat without depositing the essence anyway once you have done this you're going to be continuing on and you need to make your way to the pack a punch roof and uh just make sure once again you do not end the current round that you're on you need to make sure you stay on the current round that you're on and you need to make sure you do this quickly because there is a little bit of a time limit here if you take too long your blunder gat in the fireplace is going to disappear but pack a bunch of that get the sweeper and then if you would like the acid gat build it at the, wh whichever's closer and whichever one you did not build your shield on if you built your shield at the infirmary just take your acid gat down to the docks and do it there or if you built your shield at the docks just do it at the infirmary which Whichever one is open out of those two, you need to go ahead and turn it into the vitrolic withering, get that ready, and then once you are done with that, quickly and on the same round, if you possibly can help it, make sure you run back over, deposit the essence into the fireplace, and then pick up the tempered blunder gat. Again, make sure you obviously you obviously want to switch weapons before you do this. You do not want to replace the current weapon, your, your vitrolic withering, with the magma gat. Obviously, you don't want to do that. So make sure you switch over to your KN44 or whatever whatever normal gun you have, whether it be a shotgun, whatever. Switch that out grab the tempered blunder gat and then run it all the way back over to spawn collecting the fireplaces on the way over and then once you're 
Blender there, you can actually insert that tempered Blender Gat. Obviously, you still have the Vitrolic Withering in your hand if you if you didn't ac accidentally mess up and trade that thing in. And as you can see, very, very easily, you actually have both different Blender Gats. Very, very easy trick to do. Honestly, probably the one of the easier tricks in this game. And uh, obviously, it's very, very worth it because you get the Vitrolic Withering and the Magma Gat at the exact same time, two of the most powerful weapons in this map. And uh, basically, you are good to go. So once again, if you didn't want the Acid Gat, if you would have preferred the Sweeper and the Magma Gat, just make sure that you do not turn this thing uh, from a Sweeper into an uh, into an Acid Gat. Just go ahead and skip that step. You don't have to worry about the parts in it or anything. And uh, you basically will just have a Sweeper instead of a Vitrolic Weathering for this. But as you can see, this is what it looks like running around or just, just absolutely destroying zombies with two of the most powerful guns in the game. And uh, you, are just, you are just absolutely good to go. And it does seem like Treyarch actually did nerf kind of the Vitrolic Weathering kind of hurt yourself range so it, it doesn't hurt you as much if you shoot it kind of farther away i have noticed that actually the the magma get will detonate the vitrolic withering blast early so make sure you kind of use them in different areas you guys will you guys will see whenever you're using them uh but it's honestly very very cool and uh, just as a little just as a little end note here i know a lot of you guys probably saw as soon as i did this that there was an option to turn my vitrolic withering into a magma get but if you actually do that you just end up losing your extra magma get and you just get more ammo for your current magma gat which is obviously not what we want so uh you can't get two different magma gats unfortunately you can only have it be a magma gat and a sweeper or a magma gat and, a, and an acid gat uh th those are the only two options you can't get two different magma gats so if you try that just know that you're basically throwing away a blunder gat and you're just getting more ammo for the magma gat anyway uh that is about it guys i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial i'm gonna leave you guys to it thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching if this did help you if you did enjoy it go ahead and leave a like i would love you guys a long time and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one and bye-bye okay that works now you my pretty new gun were worth every Many bullets, I could just cover eyes and hold trigger. Having panic attack, but I cannot stop smiling.
bad time to have a little bathroom. 